Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be modeling a skyscraper. I imagined it like a hotel in a natural environment. And this is what we're gonna do. Uh, it's gonna be quite simple. I'm gonna walk you through it as much as I can. We're gonna start by making just one wall. And then we're gonna copy it, rotate it, and multiplicate it in, uh, in the z-axis in height so that we can make our uh, skyscraper here we go this is one uh, one one wall one face and we're gonna make a component as you can see it's a component that I already duplicated and uh, it's a component that's gonna be uh, there's gonna be a lot of them in this model and this is uh, what I made I made a, a one face and I uh, multiplicated by four rotated and then uh, arrayed it along the z-axis and this is our model practically the beginning of it and then what I wanted to do because it looked uh, kind of boring so I wanted to make uh, one component that's gonna be different than all the others it's gonna be uh, like a corner corner window uh, so that something uh, is uh, different uh, and uh, not repeating itself all the way so I imagined uh, this was gonna be okay just putting the glasses component the glass material and after this I wanted to uh, to maybe a mirror couple of these floors so that I get like a random uh, look as you can see and then I cleared up these windows I wanted to put them in a relation that's more uh, that's more interesting and uh, also I added another component that's gonna be a window that's the whole height of the floor after that uh, you can see that we we achieved this kind of randomness and these windows with only three components after that I made a floor a generic floor component with some walls uh, just so that when we render we don't see the other part of the building through the windows that are facing us so I created this floor and copied it uh, all the way down I had to mirror the same floors uh, where the um, where the floors were mirrored so that we don't get those walls behind a window after that the core of the skyscraper was built I made the first the ground floor and I started by creating something like a terrace on the fl first floor where maybe the people from the first floor could come out and uh, take some sun or something like that and I made this uh, this plane this object uh, that's gonna be like uh, uh, like 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 something to protect us from the rain uh, when people are coming into this let's call it hotel I don't know actually what it is uh, I made as you can see the this the the, the, the last uh, floor of the uh, of this building and here is me just trying to build this ground floor I wanted to make it all out of glass uh, but I still intended to put some wall pieces in the glass uh, because it's highly unlikely that a hotel would not have some service uh, some services uh, behind with no windows at all and um, I'm still using uh, components as you notice this is my favorite way of working uh, also these glasses glass components that you can see are just one glass component that that's been repeating in all the other window components I put this line on the glass so that I can see which way the glass is facing we don't want to have some glasses facing uh, on one uh, window on one side and on the other window on the other side on the inside that's why sometimes I just put this little line 
so that I uh, I can know that uh, this glass components are always facing the same way outwards and then uh, I looked at our building and it uh, kind of seemed a little bit boring for me so I decided to add something I just um, you know I'm just spitballing here I just tried to uh, do something interesting uh, I, I, I was uh, made in this design I was made uh, I was making it uh, without uh, any uh, plans so I just uh, went on and uh, see where it would go it would take me so imagine this kind of frame uh, over every every floor and uh, just uh, copied it and then multiplied it uh, down the z-axis on every floor and I wanted to see what was um, what would happen and um, what what kind of thing uh, would we get so I did that and I also wanted to keep this randomness of the whole design so I rotated every third or fourth slab I rotated it by 90 degrees so that I would get this randomness and this uh, this kind of it, it would turn out to be something uh, I didn't go through in the end as you can see from the thumbnail but um, this is the way I create my scenes I just I just uh, go along with it and where it takes me and uh, this is where I was going at the time. I firstly I wanted to make it just uh, thin as uh, as the as the floor slab, but um, then after a while I decided I would use it as a balcony or something like that. So so I scaled it and make it made it bigger, and I also added the. Uh, I I I, uh, I added the uh, how do you call it uh, the railing you know it was a full railing first I did this with glass I used the plugin that's called uh, joint uh, no sorry this is um, uh, simply a push pull uh, tool and uh, I made this kind of glass railing and this is where I when I first started making my Test, test renders after I finished the ground floor as you can see I used the same component that I was using on every floor but I just scaled it to fit my my uh, my, my let's say roof of the ground floor and I added these columns as you can see I tried making it round columns but then I realized when my design changed and it began looking more like a natural form uh, I had to go with the round columns okay so we have our scraper and this is our first test render I wanted to check out uh, how it was going, what was going on with this. I noticed the first, uh, the ground floor was a little bit kind of, I don't know, not not realistic. Uh, it, it was really uh, very, very strange to see the ground floor of a hotel that has so many glass uh, surfaces. So I added these walls that would probably, uh, I don't know, have some kind of uh, toilets uh, behind them or something like that and then I went on to make the situation and I started by creating uh, the road this is where uh, cars would arrive going around this let's call it a lot an island this was, this was gonna be an island of uh, grass you know and uh, and this is how I started. I created a component out of the half of this island and uh, mirrored it and then continued working only on one component and the other one was obviously updating as we go as you can see so so this is what we had and this is what we had uh, there's always some cleaning up to do with working with uh, curves and SketchUp and this is our entrance 
and after I created this rule I went on to create like a, like a natural terrain something that would go up uh, did nothing special here as you can see the geometry is really really simple I just uh, draw some lines and kinda wanted to see where it was taking me as you can see the mirror of this component is making this look okay then another test render I uh, try to make these materials look as real as possible uh, but also I didn't want to make them too complicated, too complex to render because uh, actually th that is the worst uh, part of my modeling. I, I hate the rendering, it's so slow and uh, it seems that you're not doing anything and uh, still uh, lose a bunch, uh, a lot amount of time. Anyway, uh, so this is me changing a little bit of materials and let's see what we have here okay this is a glass material kind of checking it out all the details also with all the other materials and this is uh, when I started to uh, think about what my scene was gonna look like so I uh, was uh, looking to find the perfect spot for rendering uh, this uh, skyscraper and also checking out what kind of result was I getting with these glass uh, balconies glass railing balconies and um, at this moment I was not extremely uh, satisfied with the result but I went on and and just like uh, said I was gonna think about it later anyway this is me building a little bit of terrain one uh, little bit of little mountains and here is our first scene uh, this is where I started to think about this scene and realized that maybe I could do something differently but anyway I just went uh, into look about uh, to think about the, the details of the road so I extruded uh, the faces of the road so that we could have uh, the look that the uh, road has anyway and and by this time this was something I had to do I had to do some cleaning up to because a lot of geometry was merging itself and uh, uh, I need to make the pavement for for people to walk on and after that I started to think about the materials of the railings and uh, and also about the material of, of every other material in the scene so I added uh, the asphalt material I added the pavement material and uh, just cleaning up the scene a little bit smoothed all the surfaces so now this was already looking a little bit better uh, obviously I left something out you know uh, you have to draw the line at some point and um, if I know that something is not gonna be seen or is gonna be too far away to be seen I just uh, make it like not 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 very precise you know and anyway this was me trying to find the perfect spot for the perfect uh, render and I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it it was uh, it was kind of weird so so at this time I was still trying to find out what what was going wrong so I did some cleaning um, and, uh, and then I realized I didn't like it I didn't like it so I decided I was gonna make a C or something like that I, I wanted to make uh, so so I had to change this um, I wanted to but well firstly I uh, I wanted to to, to, to start uh, seeing the scene with the real grass so I had my scatter plug in 
and I try to see that uh, but also uh, as I said I wanted to add some seat on one part of the of the hotel so I changed a little bit I practically mirrored the road so that the road was gonna go away from the hotel not into the sea if the hotel was looking towards the sea that, that was probably gonna be the, the way it was meant to be and then I had to do some cleaning up to make it work and as you can see it was going quite well and practically I had to remake all the uh, terrain again uh, but anyway this is still cleaning up this is still building a little bit of that of that mountain the beginning of the mountain okay and after I did this and this is the scene where, where, where what I was going with and then I uh, decided that if I'm gonna make uh, if I'm gonna be making a sea I'm gonna be making also a couple of uh, uh, islands or maybe something that was going to be seen in the distance like part of the land that's going uh, with a part over the sea and um, I was trying to find the perfect spot to see this and as you can see <laughs> the geometry is quite simple uh, but like this, when you look at it like this it looks like uh, this is uh, maybe or an island in the distance or maybe it's even connected to the land uh, but anyway, this is the way. This this is the way we have to do it to make uh, make it look more believable, but also simple. Because if I was going to make all the uh, coastline, uh, I would lose a lot of time, and it, it would be quite use, useless, you know. Anyway, and this is where I d decided to make like a beach, even though I didn't want to go with the beach, you know, crowded beaches and umbrellas and stuff like that. I just wanted to make like a something that was uh, looking kind of natural but also a little bit man-made um, uh, and not those sandy beaches every hotel has so I wanted to go with some other um, direction especially since I had uh, this my scatter plugin that has great looking uh, 3d uh, rocks uh, models that uh, look kind of cool for me at least and um, this is me again uh, having to do a little bit of cleanup <coughs> sorry about that and this is practically it I didn't want to make uh, C because uh, C for C I was gonna use the uh, infinite plane of V-Ray infinite plane I was just gonna make uh, material uh, that is gonna be like an infinite plane of the C still a little bit of cleaning up to do and this is the plane I just put it there that was a C I created material and look at it All, already our scene is looking much better even though I was not happy at least uh, I was not very happy with the hotel I was trying uh, I was I was working uh, I was thinking about and making it one way or the other maybe trying with all the same uh, uh, same uh, the, the, these uh, elements that are like random and all this amorphic form uh, I was thinking about maybe making it all the same and uh, trying to find the perfect spot for the perfect 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 uh, scene uh, also a little bit of cleaning up to do here with this pointy thing that has no meaning and sense so I clean it up and find another scene that maybe kind of looked cool to me even though after when I rendered it I didn't like it as much so as you can see I was just trying everything and uh, this is the scene I was trying to make 
and this is me trying all different options of this hotel this is one version where all things are alike and it looks it look a lot a lot cleaner and um, it looked kind of better I must admit even though I like weird things so I still kind of thought about uh, making it uh, in the original way uh, here I'm just thinking about it way things over and now and this is uh, I'm actually uh, dividing the geometry so that my beach is on uh, on one geometry my greens are on another geometry uh, so that uh, when I use uh, the plugin I mentioned it's uh, called scatter uh, scatter works with groups so it doesn't work with materials or planes so if I have a component that has half beach and half grass material he doesn't understand the distinction so he only understands the component uh, so if I tell him put the grass on something he's gonna ask me what component do you want to put it on um, it's a great great uh, plug-in as you can see from the final result but you need to you need to know the way it works and you and you need to model your models accordingly and this is me trying to make the perfect um, water material I just use the bump and uh, and uh, really uh, gave that extremely, extremely high number uh, so that the bump, as you can see, the real render was not looking good and then I got it with this extremely, extremely high bump number but it looked, it looked kind of okay. And this is our scatter plugin. As you can see, this is the way it works. You just choose a choose a setting, choose a component or a group. It can be a group, and then you do a couple of test things. Uh, it shows you uh, it shows you where your models are going to be showing. And then I had another idea. Since I was not happy with the way my hotel was looking. I decided to try and add some some green some maybe some ivy on the on the faces of the balconies so actually this kind of went the wrong way and after I don't know maybe half an hour or more that I lost in making this um, I decided it was looking like hell and uh, and I just erased it and uh, Anyway, I still am gonna show you how did I do this. I made, uh, I found two components uh, of ivy dropping, and uh, and I used the scatter plugin. But this time I used the scatter on a group of a line, and uh, you see it doesn't look that bad from um, uh, from uh, the vicinity. But once you once you go out and, and you put this on the hotel and all these balconies it looks like it looks weird and uh, it looks like dirt you're gonna you're gonna see it but anyway this is how I uh, how I how I've done it you can add uh, you can set these components to be uh, more or less scaled, more scattered, uh, more distance between them, uh, the density, uh, you can set the scale in all three axes uh, and it, uh, it's a very very useful uh, plug-in. Imagine trying to do this uh, with geometry. Um, anyway, th that was the finished product. As you can see it looked kinda kinda good uh, or r rather bad but uh, after the first time I rendered it uh, I realized it was looking awful awful just awful and I and then I uh, I just uh, changed it I, I, I deleted it practically 
and this is me trying to uh, add some more materials uh, to the scene and now adding the couple of people couple of cars to make it look more real even though to make this scene really real uh, I would probably need maybe two days uh, to put all the details that a real scene that uh, the real world would have and uh, I, I don't I didn't see the the point of this uh, I just wanted to add a couple of people and a couple of uh, cars and, and th th that's exactly what I did um, I found these people in the 3d warehouse uh, I when I look for models uh, from 3d warehouse I always write uh, V-Ray ready so that once I bring them in my model I just have to push render and that's it and that's is that is ex especially um, important uh, when you import stuff like cars or houses uh, windows uh, something with metal uh, when you hit when you have these um, reflections uh, or transparencies you, you just need that type of V-Ray materials mm -hmm. anyway um, I was uh, kind of losing my uh, losing my ship with this uh, putting these people rotating the roads hating it the right direction I realized the guy with the photo was extremely tall he was like three meters so I had to scale him down and uh, I was setting up the scene uh, I uh, at, at this time I already realized I was gonna go with the scene number six and that is uh, what I was basing all my geometry uh, on uh, this is the part where I made the little white lines on the road I used uh, an axis of the middle of the road and use a plug-in path copy path something like that it's called uh, if you if you're interested I will, uh, I will uh, tell you in the description what exactly the plugin is and I copied it along a path and uh, distance four meters apart and that was it and here we go again with these floors in the um, uh, I still wasn't uh, wasn't sure about it. It's, it looked uh, weird, uh, so I was uh, working all these things in my head, thinking about it, trying one thing or the other. Then I decided to try another thing. I decided to go with this clean look, with every floor the same, and I decided to add a window. Uh, or maybe glass surfaces that are gonna close this and make it a unique volume. Uh, this, this actually meant uh, that I was gonna practically lose everything I, I was uh, th that I did for the skyscraper already, but uh, I didn't mind because the result was much better. It looked uh, it looked good. It looked good. I was happy with it. Um, uh, and uh, this is me trying the uh, the, the last thing uh, with the scatter plugin I added some trees I added some grass I added those rocks that I was telling you about and uh, this was practically it. this is the final result guys I hope you liked it I don't know if you like this commentary please uh, um, write to me in the comments because uh, I don't know how useful it is uh, it's just my train of thought and uh, hopefully it didn't uh, disturb you too much and anyway guys this has been it thank you for watching uh, if you like this video subscribe and if you want to know something about this video that maybe I didn't tell you about just write it in the comment section and I will respond 
surely. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and see you next time. Bye.